Howdy, this is the video presentation on Ship Impact Simulation in LS Dyna. This is the screen of LS Dyna. Now we'll create our first object, which is a shell structure, which will be impacted by a ship structure. Shell structure is made up of mesh, a frame. Here you can define the height, radius, and the definition of mesh, how dense you want the mesh. And you can give the name to that particular part and create that mod. Change the dimension. And if you like this, then accept and done. This is our first part known as shell, which is a hollow cylinder. Now to create the first term, which is a which will be considered as a, as a ship, you have to create two reference point which will be the bottom and top point this is the way to create a coordinate now create the solid we will consider bottom and top point and the dimension of this particular first term the length is 3 meter top radius is 0.5 meter bottom radius is 1.5 meter here all the units are in meter kilogram and second this is our solid which will be considered as a ship throughout the presentation now it is time to provide mesh over the ship this is automatically generated mesh <coughs> now you can see the mesh structures ship and shell structure now we will provide all the boundary condition material property all the all other requirements to perform the analysis first of all to make it easy you can go to the toolbar and make the text option highlighted so you can see the text below the toolbar now first of all we'll create the boundary conditions boundary condition is for the shell structure top and bottom of the shell structure is fixed carefully you can select the top and bottom nodes of shell structure and you can provide them all the fixity x y z and rotation in all the three directions are constrained <coughs> now you can apply done and you can see here that all the nodes have fixity next is the initial condition will provide the ship ship structure a minus two meter per second towards like two meter per second towards the shell velocity all the nodes have velocity now the next part is to provide the mass the additional mass over the structure which is 5000 ton and 1000 ton on the top and bottom of the ship so you can see provide the mass on any particular node here you can see providing a mass on probably a center node and same for with a different mass of 5000 tons at bottom side this will create a real life situation of a ship all the mass of around 6000 tons is passing through 2 meter per second velocity Now it's time for the important stuff to do is keyword. Provide keyword which consists of different property for the particular problem. The first property would be material. To provide material to both of the section. First, first material is elastic material. The ship which is impacted is considered to be the elastic elastic section property is given to the ship density young modulus poisons ratio all these properties are given in particular unit and remember both of the section the basic material is steel but now for shell structure it is considered to be the plastic material for the similar plastic properties are given 
to the shell structure plastic property of steel is given to the shell structure as a shell has to deform under the effect of load it is necessary necessary to provide plastic property to the shell and this is where you can provide the different properties and once you are done with providing press accept and done here each property has a unique id which is called material id and each material id is unique for each property now once you are done with material now we will provide the section definition to both of the object first section definition is shell so provide a shell with particular thickness the thickness we have decided is 0.075 meter i mean 75 mm so here you can provide four point thickness i mean and that is equal thickness throughout and that is 75 mm provide except and done before finalizing we'll give name to the particular property name is given as shell section you have to be careful about the unit as this is the program where consistent units are used for ship solid section is given no particular definition is required for the solid section once we are done with section now it is time for part part is the option where you assign section and material property to the particular part so first part is a sec shell section you have assigned a plastic property material property and shell with 75 mm thickness section property to the part one shell once you are done with section and part section now you can provide contact it is very important to provide contact between two surfaces and here we are consider to provide automatic surface to surface where it will consider the contact automatically no spe other specifications are required but one important thing about this contact assignment is one is considered as a master element other is considered as a slave element so you have to specify slave and master element for our pro problem either of them will be considered as a master and slave and it won't make any difference once you then finalize and accept and done once you are done with surface now it's time for controls controls refer to the controls which will control the entire activity where you are providing all the energies different energy our glass energy kinetic energy internal energy will be <coughs> measured another important contact control parameter is termination till what time you want to run this particular process here we have selected 1.2 second longer the time it will take lo longer it will take to run the particular program so we have selected 1.2 seconds where we can see all the estimated activities now it is time for now it's time for database database is the area where you will what output you want what kind of plots you want you specify everything and you specify time period at what time period the software will notify a particular value here we have taken the plots of different energy force contact force 
other different outputs and dt i mean time interval is 0 0.005 seconds database is one of the important part of the output and once you are done with the database you will go for next purpose that is once you are done with the database the next stage is finalizing the model this is our final model you can see and now it's time for saving the model it is known as a keyword you save the keyword with particular name and it will save as the in the system file once file is saved as in texas ANM, to run the particular software you have to use the supercomputer and supercomputers are using linux system so these are the code word sorry these are the code to run the particular program and you will run this particular program in linux particular file one another important aspect is file exchange you have to upload your file onto the supercomputer's system i have uploaded this particular file on the supercomputer system here is the method to upload this particular file but this this ls dyna program will take a very long time to run and very long time to finish the analysis so for the particular video purpose i have already run the file and i am showing you the results this is the process where you can see that program is running once program is run it is taking around 20 to 30 minutes to run one iteration or one one time once you are done all the data all the output is on the supercomputer software where you have to download it to your computer and it is known as a plot d3 plot d3 plot is the picture is the time based animation of the entire process here you can see in the slow motion how this ship impact is affected you can see from the different angle and now the important part is the stress variation you can see in the software this software is showing is a very powerful tool to measure the stress variation at a different time period all the any information you want for this particular this particular non-linear impact you can find it from ls dyna if you are a master of this particular software you can take thousands and thousands of detail for each particular point here i have seen some of the x stress y stress displacement contours another force contour energy contours you can get all the data in terms of plots and excel sheet also here is the example of plot plot of kinetic energy plot of kinetic energy of particular single node everything is available after the post result and you can see everything on ls pre-post 